hey y'all welcome back to my channel in this video as you can tell from the title i'll be teaching y'all how to get these laid baby hairs so yeah if you want to see how i did my edges on my baby hairs then just keep watching so i already opened it because i could not wait but this is a cute pink box that it came in vv vv baby vv bobby i don't really know but website whatever and then you open it like i said i already opened it because i could not wait but they give you this and then you have the wig and they also gave me a wig cap which i will be using this for my install so this is the wig i'll have the information on it on the screen this is loose deep wave a frontal wig i think this looks like transparent lace i'm very excited but i'm about to bleach the knots and i'm gonna um watercolor it jet black and then i will come back but yes it's very very soft too by the way so this is what the wig looks like now. I just bleached, well, I bleached the knots, I dyed it, and then I just shampooed it. So pretty, so long. And this is how, you know, the lace looks without me spraying the lace tint on it. This is the lace tint I will be using. I also spray this on my ball cap. So this is what it looks like after I tinted the lace. I don't know if y'all can even see it. So I'm about to install it and then I'm going to do my baby hairs with y'all. So we got the wig on. It's not plucked or anything yet. So I'm about to just cut off the lace. I'm about to cut off the lace and get to it. So I know we looking crazy, but this is what it's given after I just, you know, glued it all the way on. Now I'm about to just part out my baby hairs. And then I'm a hot comb, like in between. Cause usually I would literally um, go around the whole perimeter, but I think this time I'm gonna do it a little differently. Like how some of the YouTubers and like TikTok people do it. So like I said, usually I would go just across my whole hairline, but with this baby hair, you know, I'm a, kind of part back I'm gonna part out sections instead of just going across the whole hairline so I'm gonna just hot comb this down a little bit I never this is my first time like doing this part but I guess if you you know like kind of hot comb this area then and, you know get a better install And then I also need to pluck, um, like I said, this is not plucked at all. So these are all of my baby hairs for this side. I'm gonna do the same thing to the next side, then we're gonna get ready to cut them. Okay, so I'm gonna just spray some got to be in these parts. And also trying to like kind of mask the lace or whatever. So I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna put my scarf on to hold it down. So I took the, obviously my scarf off. And as you can see, this needs to be plucked. So I'm about to pluck this. It's probably gonna take me a little while and then I will come back again. So now I'm about to just cut the baby hairs. I really hope I didn't pluck it too much up here. So now I'm just taking my mousse, a lot of body and my so usually I use a toothbrush, but I can't find it right now. So another thing, as y'all can see, I usually have the hair, the baby hairs right here, but I'm trying something new and I'm seeing how it looks, you know, just like this. Once I start to like form the baby hairs, that will also determine if I'm gonna pluck it some more and also cut them shorter. So I just keep playing with it until it starts to look how I want it to look. Okay, so I did this side, y'all, but I don't, it's not gonna, I don't think it's gonna look like this at the end. Like, I'm probably gonna fix it a couple more times. Doing the same thing on this side. This one needs to be plugged and cut. So 
you form your baby hairs as you go like i feel like when people like cut the baby hairs in the beginning like before they even install the wig and stuff i don't really know how that works for them because for me even if i do that i feel like when i put it on i'm still gonna have to cut it a little bit more pluck it a little bit more you know see like a lot of times i have to pull more hair out and then after this, I'm going to take my hot comb and use my wax stick and, you know, like put this on there and hot comb my hair back. And then I'm going to re-wet it. Right now, the curls are dry. The hair, this hair is so soft, y'all. And these curls are so pretty. But, yeah, I'm going to just keep playing with the baby hair. That's all you really have to do. So right now, I really don't feel like fixing them some more. It's really just brushed for me, too. Like, as you can see, it's like hard and stuck. It's hard for me to pick it up with a brush. So I'm about to just tie it down so they can like stay in place. Also, my lace is lifted over here. So I'm about to tie it down. And then when I untie it, I'm going to comb out the baby hairs. And then I'm going to re-cut or whatever or pluck and see, you know, what I need to do. But that way, they'll be more flowy and not stuck to my head. So it'll be easier to form them. That's why my comb, because all my combs are dirty, okay? You wear wigs, your combs get dirty. As you can see, the hair, like I can comb it and manipulate it better now. But yeah, I'm just like combing the baby hairs out. Found my baby hair brush. Okay, so y'all, get into it. I did that, I definitely did that. I guess I like this look. It's honestly still gonna take some like time for me to get used to that look. I could use a little more plucking too, but honestly, I think I'm gonna just leave the wig as is. I might pluck it like another time that I install it, but I wet this side, I brushed this side out. Well, I was brushing it as I was plucking and I got my um, hot comb. Also for the part, I used this root cover up stuff and you know, I literally put my comb there and sprayed it. Now I only sprayed it up to like right here. I really should have brought it up closer, but it's whatever. I also plugged my part a little bit to get it like that straight, but yeah, I'm about to wet this other side and that'll be it. But y'all, this hair is bomb and it's 26 inches. I'm so pressed for this land. It's all the way to my booty. So this is the finished look. Very, very gorgeous. I'm not even about to put on no earrings and all that other shit because I just don't feel like it. But yeah, y'all, I'm in love with this wig. Like the length, the curls, how they're like loose curls, the baby hairs. Like I did a good job on the baby hairs. Every time I put on a wig, I be trying on this headband to see how it looks. See, this looks cute with this hair. Like, this is super cute. I definitely need to take some pictures after this. Thank you to VV. I'm just calling them VV for short. Thank you to VV for sending me this hair because I'm literally in love. The only thing is that the hair sheds, like it shed it when I was shampooing it and stuff. And when I was plucking it, obviously it, the hair was going to come out, but like the hair does shed a little. Um, but besides that, it didn't stink or nothing. The curls are perfect. It's even like pretty when it, when the curls are dry and br the hair is brushed out. It looks, I mean, the hair is just bomb. Like, just make sure y'all check the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, leave me some feedback on, you know, how you think I did or, you know, whatever. These lashes, I don't know the style, but I'll put it on the screen but don't forget to shop my lashes they're on sale right now thank y'all for watching this video and i will see y'all my next one bye